Hello, my name is Nelson Ferreira and I'm a visual artist and an art tutor living in London and today I'm going to teach you about painting and drawing. Gently sketch the lock of hair, the main shape. There won't be enough time to draw a very realistic one, but I'll show you the process on how to do it. So what you do is, after you have the main shape, it's time to start reinforcing. And remember that here, each line tends to be or darker or lighter. So as it comes towards the highlight, don't press the pencil and then press harder as it sinks into the shadow. Don't make them too neat either. They shouldn't be parallel, they should be a bit messy. So don't press as much and then press much more as it goes into the shadow. Let's speed this up a bit. So to achieve this realistic uh, effect, you need to vary the amount of pressure you put in the pencil. So press harder for darker and press much less for lighter. Okay, so after we've done quite a few Quite a few hundreds. <laughs> After they're done, we need to change tactics. The first thing to do is start now using a darker pencil, something like a 1B, and we're going to start shading in some of the darker parts of the hair. With a putty rubber, please mold it into a fine point. And we're going to create some sort of highlight uh, in this bright area. You can literally rub everything away. So we have a strong highlight. And then with a the darker pencil, you allow some of these lines um, to go through the whole length of the lock of hair. Again, don't make them too neat, they should twist. With a little, very, very fine tip, if you squash the putty rubber between your fingers, you'll start getting a, a sharp, it's like a blade, almost, that then you can use to start erasing the hair diagonally which is going to create little hairs that pop out and each of these lines should be followed by a little shadow underneath to show that it's going to be individual hair. Now, if you do quite a few of these, again, <laughs> a few hundreds, <laughs> so even the line starts light and then gradually sinks back. After a few hours, you're going to have stunning looking hair. And that is how to draw realistic hair.